All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Bumblebee mod, which is being made by form user Roger. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is a load of wonderful parts to allow you to build a quadcopter, basically. Now, it's actually all meant to be parts based off of the concept NASA Dragonfly drone design for exploring Titan-like worlds. But, I mean, with these parts, yeah, you're gonna make a Kerbal quadcopter, and I love that. So, let's uh, jump actually into the space plan hangar today and have a look at what all we do get. Now, since we are looking at a drone type of thing, let's actually grab the Rove mate here, zoom on in, and then check out our mod filter just leaving on Bumblebee. Now, uh, usually at this point I'd mention mod dependencies, which there are some that are hard dependencies you've got to have, but thankfully they all come bundled with the mod asset here, so, you know, you're fine. You shouldn't have anything to worry about downloading from the mod page. So let's get going and have a look at our first part here, which is, well, the core of it all. The Bumblebee Drone Probe Core. And this is a pretty cool and unique looking drone core here, which is, of course, an unmanned command pod with a built-in data transmitter reaction wheel SAS and a battery holding a thousand electric charge. And as you can see here, this thing is a pretty good looking. I love the design of it and the little, uh... Bumblebee name there, I just love. It is a very cool, unique looking drone and also has another texture option, of course, being called Bumblebee. Of course, it's black and yellow. Look at that. It's wonderful. <laughs> so cute I love it <laughs> all in all it's just a very cool looking probe core that's honestly one of my favorite unmanned command pods I've seen in a long time and with the cool unique bumblebee paint job how could you not love it now next we're gonna have to move down into the engines category as there is nothing in fuel tanks where we have two different engines to sort of basically pick and choose what kind of uh drone you're going for here either a quadcopter or i guess possibly an octocopter is that the right word i don't know but the first of these two engines is the bumblebee wing single propeller now this is a pretty tiny engine not doing a lot at 0.8 kilonewtons of max thrust with an isp of 1000 using electric charge and atmospheric intake now it also does have a built-in reaction wheel and its own resource intake bringing in that intake atmosphere to basically, you know, make sure you can't fly this thing around worlds like, say, Minmus. You gotta have an atmosphere for this thing to work. And as you can see here, it is a pretty small little propeller blade that, uh, yeah, works quite well. And the next engine that we do have here is the Bumblebee Wings. Contra propeller. Now, this one is a bit more powerful at 2 kilonewtons of max thrust. Again, ISP of a 1000 using electric charge and atmospheric intake. Once again, with a built in reaction wheel and a resource intake giving you that atmosphere. And if we pop it on here, you can see it's just basically a doubled up one of that. And both of them, whether you go for the Contra propeller or the single wing one, have both the white and black and yellow paint schemes, which is pretty darn cool. So you can really make this whole thing look like a bumblebee, and I absolutely adore that. Now, next, we got nothing in command and control, but in structural, we have two very interesting parts. Now, I'll explain why I find them very interesting in a moment, but the first one here 
is the Bumblebee Single Mount Truss. Now, it is a simple structural mount for putting on one of those engines, and that's really it. But if we pop it on here, as you can see, it can be attached radially, but it does also have attachment nodes for you to slap it somewhere specific. And it has a couple of different styles here. If we right-click there, we've got the tail right side, tail left side, tail symmetrical, and a short version. Now, the next part we have is the uh, Bumblebee Truss, which is a doubled up version of the previous one, and we'll be able to hold two of those propellers rather than just one singular thing. And if we pop that on again, you can attach it radially, but once more, meant to sort of be used with an attachment node there. And what I really love about these and actually find it to be some of the more interesting parts is, well, the full on truss definitely be, seems to be the one that is the default option for when you're building the bumblebee it doesn't have to be but it, to me that's just what it seems like whereas this single truss is what you'd use when turning say this rove mate into a drone look at that you just pop it on radially and now you can turn a rove mate into a quadcopter or of course any other command pod that you do have this single version one really seems to fit a lot better in that role than this double truss here which i find really quite cool so you don't just have to be limited to the bumblebee you can use this mod to make any quadcopter you like and that is great now, next in robotics, we got nothing. In coupling, though, we do have the Bumblebee Decoupler. Very nice name there. With an ejection force of 10, as you know, a decoupler. And this is meant to go, if we pop this on here, on top of uh, the Bumblebee, so you can actually more easily deploy it from a typical rocket if you were worried earlier about this uniquely designed uh, probe and how you would attach it to, say, your rocket. So it works quite nicely there, making it so you can attach it into a more circular thing. Uh, very fun. And then let's move on next to payload where we've got nothing aerodynamics though we've got something that goes with the decoupler here and that is the bumblebee apiary aeroshell first off love the name second off it's a really cool part to help you protect your drone as it is flying through space and about to enter the atmosphere and if we pop this baby on here we can flip it upside down and it goes right on top of that decoupler fitting in our drone nice and snug inside of its apiary my god i love the names in this mod they're wonderful and style wise we've got two options of either the shoot cutout or a completely closed one so of course you do have a nice little hole for a parachute if you so desire or nothing you do you. Now let's pop the, both those off because they kind of take up a lot of space for visuals here. And then head to two, our next category, ground. Where we have the Bumblebee Knees Skids. And gotta love it, it's the bee's knees right there. And it is a set of very useful, very strong skids to protect your quadcopter. And if we pop this baby on and I guess flip it around to the bottom there, excellent. It does deploy rather quite smoothly to provide the skids there. And of course, fold up to save space and aerodynamics, blah, blah, blah. And does have a several different layouts of my personal favorite, the standard one, as I like the wiring that goes through the skids there. But we also do have an internal one, which is just a little bit, the wiring's a bit more hidden, basically. And then bare without these weird little bits here. But yeah, again, I like these with the exposed wires. It just seems, to me at least, to add a bit more interest to things. Now, next in thermal, we got nothing. But in electrical, we have the Bumblebee Stinger RTG, which is an RTG generator producing for you 0.6 electric charge per second. And if we pop this on here, it goes on the back of the drone, cause you know, hey, it's its little stinger. And it does have a couple of texture variants where we have the white, the, uh, the uh, black and yellow there, a bare white with, you know, the visible RTG there, and a uh, bare black one 
which I would think the RTG would be painted more black, but oh well, at least the part that connects to the base does. I like it. I like both views. They're very nice, but of course, this one's my favorite because Bumblebee striping. It's fun. Now next in communication, we have the Bumblebee antennae, high gain antenna, which is of course a data transmitter and a lovely deployable part that does, you know, track. It's great. And if we pop it on there, it's meant to go on this little attachment point up front so that the uh, dish kind of folds down over the Bumblebee and then it can be deployed up top like that. And again, we've got a couple of fun texture options of either the white, a black, a bare white, and a bare black. And the bare ones losing the little bits at the top as well as the, um, not sure what words to call them, the little bits and bobs that are on top of the bumblebee there between those two. You lose those two different parts. Lovely. Now, after this one in science, we've got two things. The first is another one of my favorite parts because the names on this are wonderful, is the bumblebee proboscis deployable seismometer. And it is a seismic sensor logging, of course, seismic data. And if we pop it on here, it is a tiny, tiny little part. Just look at that there. And when you deploy it, it extends its proboscis out to sample the ground. I love everything about this mod. It's just so cute. <laughs> Now, the next part that we do have, and which does hold in it a lot more scientific instrumentation, is the Bumblebee Sensor Package. Not as interesting of a name there, but hey, it gets the point across. And this one has four separate experiments, a log temperature, run atmospheric analysis, a log pressure, and log gravity data. And if we pop it on here, it's sort of meant to go in the back by the stinger. And it's just a very unique looking little part. I like all the little bits coming off of it. And this one, of course, does have two textures of either the white or the black for you to enjoy. After that, we got nothing in cargo. And uh, utility, though, we have our two parachutes, specifically a droge chute with the Bumblebee droge chute, which is a drogue chute. Very nice for slowing things down. We also do have the Bumblebee main parachute, which is also a decoupler with 50 ejection force, as well as, you guessed it, a parachute. Now, both of them can be attached on either radially or via attachment nodes. The main parachute goes on quite nicely and easily. I have a lot of t hard times, though, hooking up the drogue chute. A drogue? I never know how to say that word properly. But... Uh, with some fin finicking around, you can eventually get it, but its attachment node doesn't seem to work very well, and it doesn't seem to attach radially like the main chute can. So what it ends up happening a lot is I end up having it to the side like this, and then it'll attach, and then I have to, you know, finagle my way around with the move tool and rotate tools to get it where I need to be. Hopefully that gets fixed. You really don't have that problem with the main chute, though. That one seems to work just fine. And last but certainly not least, we don't have a part, but for your convenience, all of these parts are available in the rover section as well as in their typical sections out here. So you can find it all in just one convenient spot with all 14 of these lovely, lovely things. And they are just great. I mean, it's a Bumblebee drone. How could you not love it? And I, again, do love the fact that in the structural with the single mount truss, you can use all of these parts to make your own custom drone without having to necessarily need the bumblebee. But let's head outside and take a look at my own drone that I built earlier, of course being a bumblebee because, hey, that's the mod. And I, with my god-awful piloting skills, actually got it onto the VAB because these things are actually really easy to control. And even someone as awful of a pilot as I am can have a pretty easy time. I uh, built it back, of course, in the space plan hangar and started over there and was easily able to fly this thing all the way to here and just look at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful little bumblebee drone that is easy to fly, has a lot of cool parts, useful parts for not just it, but its own custom things. And all in all, it's just really well made. So let's, of course, uh, take a look at this thing in a flight and throttle it up. 
And there is the turbine prop sound for this thing. Now you actually really do have to throttle it, uh, throttle it up, even with the double engines here for it to take off. Usually to around the mid-ish throttle. Oh, bit more. Yes, there, there we go. There we go. We are now moving and we can gently fly away. Isn't it wonderful? We have, I guess technically this would be one of those octocopters, even if that is, again, the correct word. But yeah, it's just fun. We can spin it around, start moving the other direction. It's quite intuitive to control. It probably also does help that I own a quadcopter in real life and fly it regularly, so that may actually help with me normally being an awful pilot. But yeah, it's just a fun little thing, and I cannot wait to do multiple missions with this over to planets like Duna, because it'll just be fun flying one of these around that world, doing a bit of science, and just enjoying a nice time out. And with its RTG, this thing can basically go forever, because it is producing its own electric charge without you having to worry about stopping to, uh, you know, get your solar panels out or anything like that. It's just a fun time. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that, my friends, is... Ooh, boy. I was just speaking about how good I am with these, but now I've completely borked it. But hey, I've shown you how durable it is. Very durable. <laughs> But yes, if you have enjoyed this today, and you do want to have a look at uh, the mod for yourself, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, you have a good one. Oh, I was really hoping I could flip myself up by reversing the thrust. That did not work out. Oh, oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Fixed it. Awesome. Later, folks.